Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Uh, the playthrough with Dudley the Destroyer, the Barbarian. Uh, the playthrough which I still haven't decided whether or not it's going to go on YouTube yet. Um, so I'm speaking to Schrodinger's YouTube audience again. Um, let's load the game. Let's continue where we left off in Nashkel. And I should mention as well, I have this time correctly installed the Baldur's Gate NPC project. Which means that as soon as we load the game here, we will be immediately having an NPC conversation with Imowin, I think. She's immediately going to chime in. Um, and when we left off last time, we finally arrived in Nashkel. We recruited Minsk, who wants us to go to the west to a Knoll Fortress to rescue his uh, witch friend, Dinah here. Uh, and then we popped into the uh, Nashkel Inn, were promptly attacked by an assassin, and that's where we left off after having killed the assassin. So, uh... There we go. I care not. There we go. Everyone asks, who was that? And, uh, let's see. Hmm. <coughs> I need to do my best Dudley voice. <coughs> Another assassin. This is the sixth. I met two before leaving Candlekeep. One right after leaving Candlekeep. And that mage on the doorstep of the friendly I'm in. And the dwarf in the Red Chief. You mean that even inside the walls of Candlekeep you were attacked? Why didn't you tell me this before you left? I, I tried to, but you said you were too busy. And you let that stop you. You really need to get a backbone if you expect to get a wife one day. At least if you don't want her to keep you under her thumb. <laughs> wife, huh? And don't worry, I got plenty of that backbone thing. <laughs> Maybe when you're fighting off beasts and whatnot, but not when it comes to women. So there we go. Um, we still got the Conan the Barbarian voice set installed, everybody. Um... Yeah, our NPC companions are going to become an awful lot more chatty all of a sudden now that we've got the NPC project installed. What do you want? Let's waste no time. It means we can also get rid of Nuba now, finally, which is nice, so... Uh, let's see... What time is it? Have we rested yet? Hour 13. I wish it would tell you how tired the party is. It doesn't sort of... There's no, like, but status bar or anything for it like that. It's just the, the party members will suddenly immediately become tired if, uh, you know. If, uh, you, 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 if, if you've spent long enough traveling without resting. Now, I'm tempted to go to the mark. no, not the market. Use your words, Dave. The carnival and pick up Branwen. However, if we do that, we're not going to have any room left in the party for Dinah here when we find her. And Dinah here we're probably just going to be stuck with because I want Minsk. Um, so I think we're just going to go rescue Dinah here. And we'll do the Nashkel Mines. And then when we're done with the Nashkel Mines, I'm probably going to give Khalid and Jahira the boot. Um, we'll, go, we'll go get Branwyn, then give Khalid and Jahira the boot. And... Um, then we'll go find Viconia, I suppose, uh, to, to f f round out our six slots. So, uh, that's sort of the plan, I think. I suppose we could... We could, technically, I suppose, just use the separation glitch to, to, to leave Khalid here at the inn. And then go grab, grab Branwyn, but... I don't, I don't like using that glitch. It's very, very cheeky. It's extremely cheeky. So I think we're just gonna, I'm just gonna follow standard procedure at this point in most of my playthroughs, which is just bugger off and go rescue Dinah here. She's not an NPC I particularly care for, but um, she's required if we want to keep Minsk, so. Hello, Nuba. Hey. Ever been to Baldur's Gate? I've been to Baldur's Gate. All right, now here's the wonderful thing about the NPC project. Hey you can get rid of Nuba. Hey All we have to do is keep talking hey to him. Oh, will you shut this moron up already? What does the girl have to do to get some peace and quiet around here? Hey keep going. Hey 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 
Enough already! Out of my way! Let me at him! He's driving me insane! Enough! Enough! You are driving Minsk mad! You wouldn't like Minsk when he's mad! You better listen to him, little man. I've seen him tear the heads off of ogres, you know. Ooh, well then, um, ta-ta, bye-bye, have a nice day and all that. And lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, Nuba is finally gone. You cannot save it this time because of Nuba. Now we can. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's not actually an NPC project thing, isn't it? I always thought it was. I always just assumed it was. Amazing. Nuba is vanquished. Yeah, we ought to get XP for that, really, shouldn't we? All right. West we go to the old, good old Zvart village. It's time for a little bit of Zvart murdering, everybody. You've Sorry, I forgot you need to and must double click and uh, ambush time, I Eat guess. In the morning. It will be better. It's a wolf. Is it a winter wolf by any chance? Nice. We'll get some money for your pelt then, sir. Can you believe that? There we go. Thanks for the winter pelt. And somebody leveled up there. It was Minsk! Minsk, buddy! Congratulations! Thack energies by one, 11 hit points gained. Hurrah! Tell me what I must grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Alright, free pop. That's what's important. The journey took ten hours. Nuber and Nieber. I didn't know there was a Nieber. Spoilers! So, Dudley, how are you doing? Alright. <clears throat> Got to need to get it back into Dudley mode again. Uh, I still can't believe that Grian is dead. Me too. Is that why you don't talk much lately? All quiet and stuff. Uh, <laughs> if we're like Conan the Barbarian in the film, we don't have a lot of voice lines. Um, so <laughs> you are always the talkative one. I'm more the silent type. Remember. Don't worry, I'm still the same old Dudley. Oh. Uh, good, I'd hate to see this eat away at you. We'll get him, you know, that guy, whoever he was, who killed your dad. We'll find out who he is and pay him back good. And don't even think of ditching me, either. I know what's, what I'm doing. I'm in this as much as you. I like Grind, and you're my best friend. I'm your best friend, too, whether you know it or not. You can count on me, and don't you forget it. Uh... I can't make any promises, Imwen. I intend to assemble the most efficient group possible. Your skills may end up being redundant. Redundant? I'll show you redundant. You need me no matter what you think. You won't be able to get rid of me so easy. Heh, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just mad, that's all. Mad, sad, and a little worried, I guess. I'll get over it. Huh, <laughs> I was trying to make you feel better, and now I'm all worked up. Come on, let's go find an evil dragon's lair or something to loot. Hmm, on second thought, maybe a hobgoblin cave is more your speed. Or maybe a Zvart village. Hmm, I'll have to think about this one. Zvart village, you say, Imawin? Yet, all that matters is that two stood against many. Or in this case, six. No, I mean five. I can't count, apparently. The dialogue sounds like it's from a Sonic game. I mean, you know, it's the Zimawin, man. It's Baldur's Gate 1 Imowen, you know? She hasn't had a P dose of PTSD yet. Um, her first line in the game is literally, Hey, uh, it's me, Imowen! So, uh... Point, punch. It's now canon that Dudley can't count. I like that as an explanation for why he's always talking about two against many. He counts like Detroit as the troll from Discworld. <laughs> Here we go. There's more. I don't know why I'm microing the guys here, really. We should just have at it. One of the Zvarts panicked and is now dead. Oh, 
I'm in my happy place right now. Let's waste no time. The Zvart village is always just a delicious experience when you're playing as a barbarian main. You monster! You kill us when we do nothing to you! Well, Ursa kill you, Ursa protect us because Ursa kind! Where's Ursa? There's Ursa, Ursa the bear, and if memory serves, Ursa will make a beeline for the Zvarts and kill them. <laughs> Quite contrary to what they've been told. Crom! Dudley's taking some hits right now. Wow. Jesus, dude. Not yet. There we go. Ursa is dead and Khalid has leveled up, everybody. And there's lots to loot. Thank goodness for quick loot, huh? Also, lots of short swords. Any more down here? No, we're good. Uh, can't you loot some of these little Zvart huts, or am I misremembering? For well, us, there is no spring, just the wind that smells fresh. Before the storm. It is, and it always will be. No Th one. Thanks for that, Dudley. Not even you will remember. Dudley's trying to be profound, everyone. Whoa, get away from Mimowin. And Khalid. There we go. There were some survivors lurking around. Put a stop to that. Alright. Totally's inventory's full. Alright, uh, Imowin, our resident carrier of random scrolls. Have a few scrolls. Also, can Mince, carry the giant spider corpse, please. <laughs> I have no need of it. It is weighing me down. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Yeah, I know, I know. Not having the containers. Like, even just a scroll case. Potion bag, anything. We'll get it eventually, but... Um, this is the cave. Sometimes I forget this place exists. Also, Khalid needs to level up. There we go. Law increased by one as well, everybody. Check it out. There we go. Tell me what I must do. What you must do is quick save, Dudley. And, uh, you know what? Probably heal. Just notice his health. Not yet. Yeah, now you mention it, actually, Dr. Fat. The, um, I'm just scrolling up through chat there. Um, yeah, the NPC mod uh, NPC Modject? No, the NPC Mod Project. I don't know what is wrong with my brain some days. Um, is is actually a pretty ancient mod. It's very, 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 very old. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. They hear the lamentation of the women. Uh, Minsk. Please don't die, Minsk. Can you believe that? You're gonna complicate everything if you die right now. Minsk. That's what's important. What do we have? We've got a flail. We've got braces. We've got a mithril ring. Mithril with an A. And a potion of fire resistance that I can't pick up. Jahira, hold on to some of this jewelry, will you? Oh, I got a broken weapon. Ah, oh, one of my swords is freaking broken. God damn it. Uh, I guess. What the? What, what's happening here? There we go. I guess you can use this mace. It's probably like a mace plus one or something. Damage 1d6 plus one. Yeah, it's uh, totally a mace plus one. A flail plus one, rather. I'll have to get a replacement bastard sword at some point, but for now, it is broken. 
We do have a spare hammer and an axe knocking about as well, of course. And Minsk is very injured. And do you guys need an arrow top up? Yes, you do. Okay. All that matters is that two oh. stood against many. Don't forget the potion. Okay. We shall see. By your Death that command. you are not. Jahir is still More. pretending to be a Cylon. Uh, do that again. Of Dudley using the lamentation of their women line while fighting randos in a cave. Well, considering we've just uh, massacred a Zvart village, it's sort of weirdly quite dark, actually. <laughs> Oh look, there were some more survivors. Better put a stop to that. Minsk, you just got hit by a Zvart. Have some self-respect. Good grief, man. Fucking Minsk. Honestly. I don't recall ever bothering to explore up here before. I wonder if there's anything interesting here. The yeah, answer's probably a resounding no. There's a, there's a hammer you can get somewhere in the early game that does shock damage that I quite like to get my hands on. Since we're talking about alternative two-hand weapons. No, not two-hand weapons, but you know, off-hand weapons. What's my Thacko with the flail, though, is the question. I bet it's shockingly bad. Uh, 22. Yeah, we're not hitting shit with that oh, flail. Come. Let's leave this place. Would I, would I, in fact, be better off if I unequipped it entirely? I don't know. I mean, I'm still hitting on 16 with the bastard sword, so. I guess it's an extra attack with an extremely rare chance of uh, hitting anything. No, I don't want to know where to find it, Dr. Fat. Any more of your little buggers hiding around here? I'm here to harvest your experience points. And also your protein. Checking to see if there's any hidden cave entrances because it can be really sneaky sometimes. A wolf! Just a regular old wolf. Nothing special about it. Can you believe that? And we have a thing east to Nashville. These signposts are weird. We're always in very strange places. This would be a great place to put a little secret. But alas, they did not. Let's look at the world map here. I suppose we should go off to the southwest, really. Oh, hello, who's this? What do you need? 
Why, well, looky here, a fine a bunch of adventurers I don't think I've seen. Hmm, though from the looks of it, you don't seem to be that well equipped. Well, you're in a lot of luck. I can solve all your problems. I have a huge collection of potions and scrolls, all for, cheap, for a cheap price. Right now, I can give you a potion of extra healing for 25 gold. A scroll of protection from petrification for 25 gold. Or a scroll of protection from magic for 100 gold. So what do you say? Um... I think all of these are somehow busted, aren't they? At least the, I'm pretty fairly sure the potion is. <clears throat> we could try and rob him, but I, if memory serves, this guy's really powerful. Uh, the uh, the scroll of protection from petrification looks good. Great protection against basilisks. See you later. Yeah, in case we do go for after those basilisks, I guess. Idiot! Why didn't you consult with me first? Didn't you think for a moment you might be trying to scam you? I should know, after all. Gotta go! Well. Protection scroll. Can't identify it, but uh, there's probably something a little bit wrong with it. Shuffle a few things around here. Who wants the potion of fire resistance? I guess I could just put it my in a in a in a, in a quick slot bar thing here for. All right, who did I end up giving that to? I again ended up giving it to Khalid. This this menu works very strangely. I'm not sure I like it. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in a quick slot what so it's not in, it's not taking up an inventory not, slot. It is nice to enjoy the out of doors. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Murder. Murder. All right. Bear River. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Well, there would be one of the aforementioned bears. Reckon we can take it. We can get some XP. Kind of feel bad. The bear is just minding its own damn business. It's only pain. <laughs> it's only pain. Tell me what I must know, one. Not even you will remember if you were good man or bad. Okay, well, we got the bear and 420 XP for it out of the bargain as well, although we probably need to rest now, don't we? So let's do that. Do not dream Odin, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away. Something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Mm, creepy dreams. Very nice. And I believe we got a magical power out of the bargain too. About time you woke up. Uh, you okay, Dudley? You look kind of pale, like you've seen a ghost. 
you have some bad dreams or something? Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, just some bad dreams, Imuan. Probably just something I ate, like you're cooking. Ha, you're a funny one. Told you I couldn't cook. Serves you right, but these didn't sound just like any old bad dreams. You were tossing and turning, mumbling in your sleep too. Loudly. Kept me up half the night, you did. Anything you want to talk about? Hmm. No, no I don't. Well, okay, just remember you can tell me anything, all right? Suit yourself, though. As for me, I'm going to take a nap first chance I get. Could hardly sleep last night with all your carrying on. You say the last night like it's not... Your point, I well, it's 4 a.m., I guess. Boo! Boo, where are you? Minsk, lower your voice. You will never know who might hear you in these woods. And I've grown tired of healing everyone on such a constant basis. But Jahira, Boo is missing! Don't tell me you misplaced him again. How did it happen this time? Well, when I woke up, he didn't greet me with his usual perkiness, but Minsk thought Boo was oversleeping. You know, nibbling on the eyes of villains is such a demanding task. Please don't mention that again. I have enough trouble eating after the last battle. I'll never be able to look at a rodent the way I did before. Boo will be pleased to find out that that, that how, how you... Wait, what? <laughs> Boo will be pleased to find out that now you recognize the courage his kin displays in battle. But my little boo is missing. He has left his pouch while I was sleeping, and now I can't find him. Please, Jaira, you, you must help. Me? What do you expect me to do? You are a droid. Surely you would have some advice. Please, Jaira. Minsk needs boo. Dudley needs boo. The entire party needs him to help us in our glorious butt-kicking quest. Very well, Minsk. I'll help. Now please stop tugging at my bag. Who, me? But Minsk is over here. How could I... Don't tell me that... Boo! Boo? You already found Boo? You are a great druid indeed, Jahira. Here, take the filthy beast. He was hiding in my bag, and only Sylvanus knows what damage he caused. Boo! Oh, you've been a naughty little hamster. But don't you ever scare Minsk like that. My medicinal plants! He ate all of my medicinal plants, you little pest! I should... I should... Boo says he's sorry, but he wanted a little snack, and since Minsk was asleep... Well, he will be sorry. I'll sus I'd suspect he'll be needing potty breaks a lot for the next few days. Maybe that will teach him to keep his nose out of other people's bags. Is that true, Boo? Quick, let's find you a bush! Try to hold it, Boo! Try to... Yuck! Not yet. That's what's important. The little squeak sound effect, yes. One of the best features, right? It is all that matters is that two stood against many. Well, there would be the river. We found the bear and the river. Pretty sure there's another bear around here somewhere, though, isn't there? There's a polar bear around here somewhere. Oh, same sound of mass fetch. You mean with the little hamster in the cage, yeah. Whoa, hello, boys. That is a that is a goddamn ogre, and we just got shot with an arrow in the arse. Not very dignified. Alright, uh... Let's have at it. Please kill this ogre quickly before he does that. Can you believe that? God damn it, Dudley. Who just leveled up? He was in one. And who just... Huh? Dudley, what did you just do? He just healed himself. Oh, I, yeah, I mentioned when we got that... When we had that dream, we got a... We got a new magical power, and I guess... I think it was Cure Light Wounds. I thought it would be Larlock's Minor Drain, because we're chaotic neutral, but I guess not. Also, that's a... That's just a spare two-handed sword line around there. I guess I'll take that. How's the audio today, by the way, guys? I turned it up a smidge because I felt, upon reviewing the footage from the last stream, that it was maybe a little bit on the quiet side. So I raised it a little bit. It's, it's just mega loud in my earphones, but I think it probably is fine for you guys at home. A tiny bit low, in fact. Well, there you go, yeah. The, the trouble I'm having is trying to balance out Dudley's what do you want? booming Conan lines with... Let's talk more fight. 
everybody else's slightly quieter voices. I'm just gonna... Hold on. Just gonna... Oh, we're back on the desktop. Hello, everybody. I'm just gonna lower my Windows sound a little bit so it's a le little less deafening in my own earphones. It won't change anything for you guys, though. All right, let's go back and uh, get that bastard who shot me in my rump. There he is. Oh, God, they have another ogre. All right, it might be... Uh, you know, it might be rage time. Oh my Jesus Christ, what the... Oh, he's been poisoned, right? We're going to have to reload this, aren't we? Yeah. I've never prayed you before. I have no tongue for it. Powers are dependent on party reputation. Really? I always thought they were based on your alignment. But I suppose it's easy to make that mistake, right? Because, uh... Your uh, your part, your alignment, your your alignment is gonna is gonna. What the? F Why are we back here? What's going on? Um. Where on earth is our latest save? Oh, it's down here. There we go. That lot pleases you, Cram. Anyway, Umun's leveled up, and I totally forgot to do that last time. So let's do it now. Okay, uh, more open locks. And that'll do it. What do you want? Tell me what I must do. Let's waste no time. I don't know why the saves are down there. It's very odd, isn't it? Then the hell with you. Yeah, let's take out these jerks. Oh, for goodness sake. No, we've been poisoned again. Not yet. Does anybody have an antidote? No, they don't, do they? Oh, what a pile it of is, wank. It always will be. It's this dickhead here. He's got a poisoned arrow. That lot pleases you, Crown. What do you want? Let's waste no time. Um, how, do we, how the heck do we deal with this guy? I have no idea. Um, I think I need... Let's go across it now, now immediately. Come on, archers. Get him. He's dead. Fantastic. Jahira, you can, I guess you can go and try and deal with them. You guys deal with them. You guys deal with him. Dudley, you have a potion. And rage. Stop being. Oh, he's been poisoned again. They've all got poison arrows. Maybe we should just avoid this. That lot pleases you, Crumb. <sighs> we, uh, we might have to avoid this. I don't. I don't see a way through it. What do you want? We're just gonna keep getting murdered by. Uh, all we can, all we can do is just do it enough times that our own Jesus smiles on us enough that the guy with the poison arrows never ever hits us. Um, let's waste no time. So I think just forget it, honestly. And that's well, I missed this guy apparently somehow. Can you believe that? That's something. Maybe we can try and lure them away a bit at a time. Maybe that's the way to do it. That might be the way I did this last time. Hi, oh, hello. Ah, oh, weary travellers, well met. Neville, the fairest of all fair bandits at your service. What may I do for you at this hour? <laughs> well, for starters, you could tell your men in the bushes to drop their bows and step out into the open. Did you find all five of them, then? Ah, oh, pity. I shall have to train them better. Anyhow, I'm afraid that I can't abide by all wishes. My men would think me a coward to surrender in the face of such a paltry force. Truly, I see no other choice than to order them to fire at will than rob your sad corpses of any iron they may carry. Come, men, I believe the choice before it's clear. I can't remember. Is this a tough fight or not? 
Are these guys just regular bandits, or is it one of those fights where... I think there's one... There's an encounter around here... So oh, it's just a bunch of goblins, right? Um, there's a fight around here somewhere where you encounter, like, another adventuring party, and it's a really hard battle. And it, it's in, sort of, the top right corner of a map as well, so... All right. Boyos. Time to die. Come, let's leave this place. Uh, let's also loot all the things. Oh, hello. Hello. Did Grain ever show you much of the forests or teach you about nature? Feel free to ask any questions that you might have about them at any time. In fact, when we are traveling through the wilderness, I'd prefer to pay you pay close attention to my counsel or allow me to lead. Um, mm, what is the most reliable and nutritious forest fare to be had if I run out of provisions? Wait, no, 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 this is much better. Is it true that one can have fun killing mosquitoes by tensing one's muscles as soon as they bite? I heard that contracts the pores, thus trapping the mosquito while at the same time squeezing a lot of blood into its body and making it explode. That is one of the silliest things I've ever heard, but I'll wager it that it has become a popular myth in more than one realm, imaginary or not. Okay. That's, oh, magic sword! Give. Also, Khalid, have a bunch of arrows, my man. I care not. And you, Emma, Top up on the ammo. Who around here doesn't have a helmet? It's Minsk, isn't it? Congrats, Minsk. You got a helmet now. Yep. And there's some chain mail here as well, though. I don't think anybody needs it. Uh, are those short bows? They're short bows, aren't they? If it was a long bow, I'd give it to Minsk. Minsky boy! Well, I suppose we've got the helm of improvision, haven't we? But, uh,. Now here's the thing, I was going to sell the Helm of Infravision, but I'm doing some thinking now. Normally, I mean, I have Group Infravision turned on the options, so if any member of the party is has Infravision, the Infravision is sort of activated if you've got any of the party selected, um, I think. Which means that you don't really need the Helm of Infravision a lot of the, a lot of the time, but I am realising that the only two members of our party who have Infravision at the minute are Khalid and Jahira, and we are going to be getting rid of them in the near-ish future and replacing them with, well, Branwen, who is human, which means that everybody in our party for a while will be human until we pick, pick up Viconia. So maybe I shouldn't get rid of it just yet. Uh, Minsk, would you, would you like to wear the Helm of Infrivision, my, my dude? Uh, there we go. Enjoy. I guess we'll have the spare helmet anyway. Does anybody need a helmet? Can, can, can... Emma Wynn technically wear a helmet? No, she can't. Khalid's already got one. Yeah, we're all helmeted up. We're, we're good. Let's talk more fight. However, lead in the morning. It will be better. I feel like we ought to rest again, potentially, or... Ah, no, we can probably just heal. It is to grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Right. Whoa! Hello! Hello. Can we get this guy without... Or you might be able to get these two without... Run! Run away! Let's see if he follows. Hopefully he should. Or not. There he is. He's not really doing a very good job of following us though, is he? Oh, chunked him. Nice. Alright. You want to use this sword, Dudders? That's probably just a long sword, isn't it? I don't know what it does, though. It doesn't have a plus on the damage. Dudders, my boy. 
You know what, Minsk, you can have the spare great sword because you're going to need it. It is a long sword, right? It's not a bastard sword. Yeah, they, they look almost identical, but it is infected long sword. Uh, that's what's important. Although, let me just check. Yeah, Ithaco's still terrible with it. I am much more at ease in the forest. Your yeah, provision is purely visual. Oh, that's disappointing. I never realized that. Yeah, to you too. <laughs> Get him! Chunk him before he can poison someone. Fantastic. Alright. You heal yourself. All that matters is that two stood against many. It's more like one against many, and we're not the one. But alright, dude, whatever you say. Dudley can't count, we've established this. Hello there, additional two handed sword, and a gold ring. What do you want? Tell me what I must do. We shall see. There's a small collection of spare great swords right now. All right, we did it. We did it. We just have to take him apart a bit at a time, but we have done it. Oh, I remember this bit. This is fun. This is fun. I hope we survive, though. Our well, problem is Dudley's a little bit not yet bruised, shall we say? I'll just have to it give it a go. Let's waste no time. Yes, friend. Ah, travelers! This wilderness is too expansive to keep clear of monsters all on my own. Many gibblings pass through this very spot, uh, day and night. Will you stay here and help fend them off? Uh, yes, we would gladly join you for a while. We're gonna have our own little battle of the mounds here. Wonderful, the gibblings should be coming along soon. You should prepare yourselves. Alright, Laurel. We'll fight the gibbling horde with you. Oh. The awesome line got interrupted. That makes me very sad. Have need of me? Can you believe that? That's really not in this. Huh? Ah, well, please, some crown. Marvelous. Come, let's leave this place. Is that all of them? What do you want? Oh, really? Now, Emmerwin? Now is the time? Here we are, traveling the good roads. Some grand adventure we're having, huh? Not exactly what we used to daydream about, but still kind of exciting, I guess. I'd rather be out here going places and doing things than be stuck in candle keep cleaning out stables and turning down beds. Uh. Ah, yes. Yes, the whole world is out there. Power, wealth, all just waiting for me. I intend to grab as much as I can between my two huge fists. That's good enough for you, I guess. As for me, I plan to have some fun. Wonder if they'll let me they'll make a tale of our adventurers. Uh just think, one day folks will be in the common room of some inn, maybe even the candlekeeper inn, and ask a bard to tell them a tale of Immerwin the Quick and her trusty sidekick Dudley. Sidekick? Oh okay, we'll be partners, I suppose. What do you think? Immerwin the Quick sounds good to you? Quick with the blade and wit? All the best heroes and heroines have handles. Hmm, maybe Immerwin the Terrible. No, uh -huh, too dark. Immerwin the Bold? Immerwin the Sly? Immerwin the Magnificent? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Mm. Uh huh. Immerwin the Pinnacle of Annoyance, the Epitome of Vexation, and the Champion of Besetment. Well, you're being rude today. Guess I'll just keep quiet and wait for you to come begging for something from little old Immerwin. What do you want? Yes, friend? Gibberlings are a plague that must be wiped from the Sword Coast. Perhaps we will meet again? And off she goes. And I will collect the last of my pocket change. Thank you very much. What For some reason, I remember there being more gibberlings than that if in the I past. Know it, it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's from. Well, um. More gems to throw at Jahira, I guess. 
and jewelry. Another spare sword for Minsk. What's this letter? Oh yeah, it's this one. And this one? My dear friend Garayan Pre Oh yeah, let's just copy that and throw it in the bin. By which I mean the floor. There is no distinction for Dudley. They are one and the same. Oh, hello there. I remember this guy. By your command. Oh. You must must you interrupt literally right now, Jahira? Where do you think we should inter Garayan's remains? Khalid and I have been discussing this. We are his closest friends, but you are his next of kin, so we want to know your opinion. We're getting bombarded with a lot of inter inter interruptions at the moment, and the reason for that is because I installed the mod mid-playthrough, so the game, I think, is kind of catching up a bit. Uh... So don't mind that. Once we get a bit further on, it'll become a lot, a lot more rare. Um, I think, based on what I remember, anyway. Hmm, what would Crom think of burial and all that stuff? <laughs> what would be the, what would be the Dudley answer? Let him lie where he is. I shall build a proper mausoleum over the site when this all of this is done. A noble sentiment, but the jackals won't necessarily share it in the meantime. Right, anyway. Hello. I will crush. You no bother now. Me eat. We fight after me, fat happy. Tell me what I must lead in the morning. It will be better. I'm very similar on uh, Christmas Day after the turkey dinner, personally. Me eat turkey, me be fat happy. Oh, hello. This guy, uh, this guy is fat happy apparently because he wants to fight. Gotcha. Put him in a bin, aka the floor. Okay, this is not the area I was thinking of, I don't think, unless... Oh, uh, maybe it's down here. So there's a bridge with a polar bear and there's a guy running across it going, Help, I'm being chased by a bear, etc. There's a squirrel! I didn't notice that, but there is a squirrel. He's gone now. Keep up, everybody. I know Dudley's faster than everybody else because he's a barbarian, but still. There it is. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, getting some hits right out the gate. I like it. Six missile damage from Khalid. I'm starting to look at this more than I am at this these days. I'm trying to I'm trying to focus on the log because that's what the important info actually is. Sorry, you have the wrong user. Thanks for the 30 months of subbage. Subbage, subbage, sub, tram, 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 Dave.exe has stopped responding. Speaking of Dave.exe, I finally bought Dave the Diver yesterday evening. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Between I, I, between that and Dragon Alliance 3, I think my free time is pretty much sorted for the foreseeable. Um, greetings from VStream. Greetings. Two V V stream. Is he still streaming? Has he stopped yet? I'm not sure. Did he raid us and I just didn't notice? That happens sometimes. I always feel really bad about it afterwards. Bit brown for a polar bear. It's not that brown. It's a beige and an absolute push. It's very far from home, though, for a polar bear, if you ask me. I mean, you know, 
This pit of the Sword Coast isn't exactly Antarctica. I just realized the polar bears aren't from Antarctica. You know what I mean. It's not the Arctic. Just did. Couldn't decide who to raid, so he left it up to us. Oh, fair enough, then. Wow, welcome anybody, any any of the people who have managed to make their way here. Nice to have you. As always. The polar bear's always here, yeah. I guess he just emigrated, right? He just decided he wanted to go south and stay there in the warm weather. Oh, hello. Where the hell did you come from? Then the hell with you. Oh, Jesus Christ, Good Dudley. Dude, you've got one hit point remaining. <laughs> Guys, please kill this ogre. Please, for the love of God. Is Dudley really the only person here who's capable of doing damage to ogres? Normally it's dead by now. This is embarrassing, everybody. We're running a lot of 13s and 11s and 10s right now, everybody. This is pitiful. Wow, I think I, I think Dudley actually is the only reason we're able to kill ogres so quickly normally. Man. Do we really need another two hundred? Yeah, of course we do. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and rest. Jesus Christ. Hello, V. There he is. There he is. There he is. Speak of the devil. I learned what the French equivalent of that saying is recently. I can't remember exactly how it goes, though. It's something like, speak of the wolf. And just there we can see his tail. Probably sounds much better in French. Play a fighter type and you should be fine. Uh, yeah, in this game, early game, just, just play a fighter. Any old denomination of fighter is probably fine, except for maybe Kensai. I'm playing a Barbarian at the minute with Dudley, in case that wasn't mega obvious. And uh, he just wrecks everything in his path. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. You do really recommend turning off cosmetic attacks and feedback. Um... I already have turned off cosmetic attacks in feedback, if I recall. Whoa, 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 cancel, don't. Wrong button. Wrong button. Uh, cosmetic attacks. It's in here somewhere. Large portraits? Turn that on, I guess. Um, it's definitely in here somewhere. I saw it. I saw it. I've seen it before. It's definitely here. I don't know where. No cosmetic... Damn it. I didn't realize it was no cosmetic attacks. I thought it was just cosmetic attacks. Ah, well, all so I thought I had it off this entire time. Any. Well, thanks for pointing that out. My brain was looking for cosmetic attacks. It wasn't look for, looking for no cosmetic attacks. And for some reason, that therefore made me blind. <sighs> it's the old it's the old thing. It's the old thing like the video with the guys passing the ball around and then a gorilla comes onto the screen halfway through. But you'll never notice the gorilla if someone has told you to count how many times the ball gets passed. 
The human brain is weird like that. Um, I've explored all of this now. Most of it, I guess. I can. I think I can live with not exploring this corner. Quick question about story and gameplay wise. Tried Pillars 1 twice but didn't catch me that hard with the story. I'll level with you, to be honest. The story in Baldur's Gate 1 is not fantastic. Um, I've just noticed what that... Do you want? Welcome part of, of this group. Dudley has a weird shrunken portrait, so I think I'm going to go t go ahead and turn that option off, the large portraits one. That's weird. Um, gameplay, no. Graphics. No. Uh, gameplay, UI settings, large portraits. Go ahead and turn that off. That's better. Uh, Tell me what I must do. We shall see. Destiny or not. Uh, Alright, onwards to the Null Stronghold, everybody. With a cool cutscene that you don't get to see, I don't think, in the Enhanced Edition normally. But uh, this is from the original game. Hey, Alf. Someone's thrown a bunch of shop mannequins into that pit. Yes, this is the den of evil where they hold sweet diner here. Onwards, friends, onwards. Uh, hold, good Minsk. We should first study the place that we fall into an ambush. Ambush? Is that some kind of a hole that we can fall into? No, it's a kind of shrub with long, hard thorns. What? Oh, thank you, Boo. Minsk understands now. No fear, my friend. Boo shall sniff out any knoll stupid enough to try and ambush us. Onward, I say. Onward, but with caution. I don't like the look of this bridge. The planks look old and slippery. Khalid, if Minsk hadn't witnessed your valor on the battlefield, he would think you are afraid. On we go. But we all know this can't be. No brave, so no man brave enough to marry Jahira would be scared of some puny knolls. Please, Minsk, keep your voice down. Jahira is sometimes very sensitive to... What are you two mulling over, looking exactly like two old wives? Khalid, was Minsk talking to you about that? Nothing, dear. Nothing. We weren't talking at all. But I thought I heard... Uh, maybe the wind. Yes, the wind in this g gorge. So, uh, what are we waiting for, Minsk? Follow me. B quietly. You know, Boo, it takes, makes my heart good to see such a display of courage. Just look at him go. Hmm. Now that he mentioned that this bridge doesn't look quite safe, let us cross carefully, shall we? Yes, Khalid really was brave to charge as he did. Danger? Where? I see nothing. Oh, that danger. Ranger, are you talking again to that rodent? How many times did I tell you? Yes, Khalid, I hear you. Minsk is coming. Minsk is coming. And he brings Boo along. One day I shall have the great druid test my hearing. And if there is nothing wrong, then these two will hear of that. Not yet. Let's waste no time. Hello. Stop. You go nowhere. This our bridge. You pay to walk it. Yeah, you pay 200 for all heads or lose heads. Minsk can see from here the castle with the foul knolls keep dining here. Villainy on the bridge, step aside. Minsk and Hamster are coming through. Yeah, you think big. You want to fight? We take heads anyway and get lots of gold. Your enemies, see them driven before you. They hear a lamentation of their women. It is, and it always will be. All right, got some goodies for that. <gasps> Boys and girls, new bastard sword. Pipe. Uh, our Thaco is now. Oh, hang on a minute. What the devil's happened here? Wait. Did I somehow drop my bastard sword? Is that what happened there? Did I get disarmed? Uh, come, let's leave this place. 
I'm very confused. I thought we picked up a new bastard sword, but... Oh. No, we did pick up a new bastard sword, but my old one broke. I guess in a way that was fortuitous. Hmm. Also, this UI is really weird, and I, I... I get that it's like, if you mouse over any of these others, it sort of changes it, but I keep accidentally, when I try to move stuff across, I keep mousing over the wrong bits here, and then it, I need to remember to go like this. Or, you know, like so, to make sure I don't accidentally put things on the wrong people. Uh, what, what have we got here? A potion of hill giant strength. That's pretty sick, although... Well, actually, it does set your strength to 19, which is technically, I think, an improvement. A very small one. But, um, I'm gonna hand this over to Jahira, I think. What else did we get? We got a potion of cold resistance. And we got another lol gem. I know it's not a lol gem, but it's not called a lol gem, but I call it a lol gem anyway, because I'm a child. Right. Eat in the morning. It would be better. Anyway. Uh, we could go up to the fortress, or we could go check out the caves first, if I remember. Classic sound effect. For what it's worth, I don't want to really to get get too much into the weeds on the whole AI thing, but I think for what it's worth, eventually at some point, someone is going to have to simply legislate that you can't just use somebody's voice to make stuff, you know, without their explicitly agreeing to it. You know, it's it's like like you you can't just use a computer to make someone say something without their say without their uh, you know permission. It just it's just that's just ethically wrong. I think whichever way you slice it. And, you know, inevitably that's going to have to be legislated against, I think. Attack! Attack! Crush your enemies. It's one of those things that I think will happen because... Of the women. Without being too cynical, it's a... Uh, it's a problem that disproportionately affects rich, wealthy people. And if it disproportionately affects rich and wealthy people it'll probably get legislated about. Oh yeah, absolutely. They'll 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 do it as long as they're technically allowed to get away with it. Ah, there's a cave entrance. Show your fingers to prove you're not an AI construct. Yes, my hands are legit. They're not. They're not. Well, I mean, I'm not making a great case for myself, am I? Because my 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 background is all weird and funky. But uh, these are my hands. <laughs> You'll notice that Dudley's AI portrait does not do. uh, does not contain hands. Not yet. Grant me one request. Grant you. Why does Dudley have so many buff effects on him right now? What did he do? What did you do, Dudley? What have you done? It is, and it always will be. What have you done? Oh, did he rage without permission? I think he raged without permission. Huh? Damn it, Dudley! I didn't give you permission to rage. You point, I punch. Khalid, how come you aren't a ranger? I, I am from a city. I'm not very much at home in the wilderness, even if I feel at ease in the woods when Jahira's about. 
Boo says all elves like nature. I am half elf Minsk. Half elf Minsk. I um even even Khalid doesn't screw up his lines that badly. Um Boo wonders why they say a half elf and not a half human. I don't know. I, half orcs are also half human. I suppose it p p prevents confusion. Ha! Ah, we thank you. Boo is a very curious space hamster, and you have answered him very well. Ah, what pleases you, Kram? What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, he will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's Kram. Uh, nobody here but us bats, apparently. I was expecting maybe a bit of loot, but I guess not. Minsk does indeed raise a good point, yeah. Uh, is there not a cave down there? There might be. Look at Dudley go, he's just, he's at warp speed. AD and D was pretty human centric. I, I wouldn't know, I never played it. But I'll take your word for it, for sure. Ew, it's way, it's not, not, not nearly so a human century these days, is it? Over in 5th edition land. It's gonna be weird playing Baldur's Gate 3 and having, like, Dragonborn wandering about the place in... in my old Forgotten Realm setting. I mean, you, you can make it, you can make it, you can make a party character from, like, friggin' any old race these days. I think one of the last time I actually played 5th edition D&D was with a kobold wizard, for goodness sake. Dragonborn and tieflings. Well, tieflings are fine. Tieflings I remember from Neverwinter Nights too, because Nishka was a tiefling. So, tieflings isn't so much of a culture shock for me as Dragonborn. Whoa, hello everybody. Swole kobolds, that's an interesting way to describe them. I don't. I, I know. You might be right for all I know. I haven't got a bloody clue. I haven't really ever played D and D, and had it involve Dragonborn. So, Swolbolds, Yeah. The last. The last time I played D and D Fifth Edition was a one shot, and it involved said uh, said Kobold Wizard. Um. And then before that, I played very briefly in a campaign that Dan was running. And I played as a as a just a bog standard human fighter in that, so and I think everybody else in the party was human as well, if I recall. ice cream I was I played the only I mean no wait no we definitely were all human we were definitely were all human I think in that it's been ages I barely remember honestly it was the thing the thing was Dan was kind of going for a, a sort of I don't want to say low fantasy but more like dark fantasy Mordheim kind of thing with that particular campaign which is why we played all humans um so I played a, I played an old man. I, I, I played as an old dude. I can't remember his name though. He was an old he was a retired fighter. It was sort of like being pressed back into service.
This is Kane the sword. No, oh, he didn't have a cane. He worked in the stables. He was one of those swole old guys. Whoa, hello, cave crawler. Swolled, yes. Just with lots of missing teeth. And fairly senile. I, I did play up the senility angle quite a bit, if I recall. What happened? Did Dudley just get... Yeah, he just got stunned or something. Alright, Mint can take over for now. Scoop up the pocket change. You gonna you're gonna be stuck there for for a while, huh, Dudley? Alright, bud. We level you up at least while you're like this. Yes, we can. And we have a new proficiency slot, ladies and gentlemen. We could get that third in two weapon style. That's probably the best idea for now. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Uh, sorry, right, playing with things on the table that I shouldn't be playing with while playing. There we go. He's still held, but uh, yeah, there you go. Is his uh, Thacko a little less rubbish now, by any chance? Yes, 15 and 19. Might actually hit something with the offhand weapon now. Well, that's kind of always been the case with D&D. For, for me, anyway, Dr. Fat. Really, it's just like, you know... It's a toolbox, you know? It's not a Bible. What do you, want? you just do... You, it's, it's what you make of it. Yes, then you are not. I've played... I've, I've played three editions of D&D. I've played 3.5, I've played 4th, and I've played 5th. And I didn't have... I didn't not have fun with any of them. Because you just... You just... You make, it's what you make of it. Tell me what I must do. Let's waste no time. You use the bits you want and don't use the bits you don't want. Come, let's leave this place. Oh, we missed. We completely missed the other the cave. Whoops, Daisy. We should probably rest, actually. Could just get Jahira to heal us, but really, before going into the Null Fortress, I think it might be worth resting. However, first, Zvarts. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Alright, what do we got? Gold. Oh, healing potions galore. That's nice. A tome and some scrolls. Our resident carrier of scrolls can have those. As for the tome, and this one that you read and you get like an extra stat point or something, if I recall. Something like that, I think. All right. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's see. How, how the how do you split? How, how, how do you split a stack of things in this game? I always I can never remember. Here we go. There we go. Uh, Minsk, you can have a potion, and Dudley, you get the other two in your quick slot because you're taking the most damage pretty consistently at the moment. All right. Not yet. Grant me one request. And I guess we'll rest in this cave. Yeah, I, yeah, I totally agree. Baldsgate one definitely could have used more dungeons in general. That's what's important. why I like Baldur's Gate. One of the reasons I, I like Baldur's Gate 2 an awful lot more is because uh, more dungeons, less wilderness. Alright, 
here we go. Null fortress time. Yeah, yeah, we're using the um, the dragon spear UI plus plus. Thank you. I couldn't quite remember the name for a second there. It's a rather nice UI mod. I am quite fond of it. Oh, balls! Just walked in a circle. Never mind. Uh, we yeah, we actually need to go all the way back here. Oh my word! I forgot. Yeah, pathfinding in this game has issues at times. I used to play Baldur's Gate with the 2-2 mod that made BG1 run in the BG2 engine and I used to, there was, a, there was a, a UI mod you could get for that that made it look like the original, original Baldur's Gate 1 user interface. That was probably my favourite, just for the authenticity. Is there anything, I don't think there's anything up here is there, there's just a sort of path that goes to, never mind! I was mistaken. We saw him trying to sneak away and attack the archers, and we said, no. Not on your life, matey. Don't like the way things appear in the far top left corner. Kind of hurts your eyes to look up there. Jarmaid, when was the last time you saw your optician, my friend? Just <laughs> out of curiosity. Hello, Knowles. a little bit of the fortress from up here but not much else I don't recall there actually being a bunch of knolls up here pleasant surprise I guess more XP for the XP throne I remember I did a playthrough of this once and just, just comically over leveled myself before getting to Nashville it really wasn't worth it, but I sort of just did it to see if I could. I think I managed to get the whole party to like level four before arriving in Nashville. Just through grinding. Right, everybody, pile back down the hill. I've never done Dialogue's Tower. I've never gotten far enough into the game for that. Maybe this time, eh? Probably not, but maybe this time. Hello. Time to die, nolly boys. Oh, 
Um, wait a minute. What's going on here, Dud Dudders? What have you? What are you doing? You've gone and equipped. Oh, you broke your other bastard sword. Going through those quite fast, aren't you, mate? You're going through them like Kleenex. Vince, I'm, we're going to borrow one of your great swords, mate. It is, and it always will be. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. They get a lamentation of their women. The hell with you. Love it. Just that cover. This such not very good. It's a, it's eighteen. It's, it's a little poor. But it'll have to do, I guess. Unless I wanna. Do that. Hell, swap those around. Seventeen and twenty. I guess that's better. Whoa there, sailor. Yeah, joke's on you, Mr. Knoll. This archer had a backup melee weapon. All that matters is that two stood against many. Dudley the Destroyer. <laughs> Destroyer of his own weapons as well, as it turns out. That one little bit of the soundtrack there with the stringed instruments, it sounds very Witcher 3. Uh, Empire at War Mega Campaign has been cancelled. Oh no, it's just... We'll, 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 we'll get back to Empire at War at some point, but the thing is, man... It, it's a hard one to fit into the schedule because I get no money from the Empire at War series when I do them. Absolutely feck all. It's basically a charity project. Um, because of all the copyrighted Star Wars crap in those videos, so... I like... I want to I want to continue it. I want to... I do want to do it. It's just... Money's tight this year, you know? And I, and I have to be realistic about these things. Yeah, well, you, you you need to make money off the videos in order to give the money to charity. It's true. I'd I'd, uh, I'd, ha I'd have to be like I'd have to like ask people to donate to charity in the videos, and then somehow that might work. I don't know, but uh, yeah, no, it's not like I could give the ad revenue to charity charity because there is no ad revenue. Little blind mouse. Thank you for the 23 months of savage. Welcome. Welcome back, in fact. Can you believe that? The mouse is one of the mercenaries I'm using in uh, Jagged Alliance 3 at the minute, actually. Weird coincidence, but there it is. My 
Further plans from part. Yeah, further plans basically are uh, we're going to do the Nashkal Mines, and then after we've done the Nashkal Mines, I'm going to ditch Khalid and Jahira, and we're going to pick up Branwyn and then later Viconia. And that honestly might be the party till the end game. So no Star Wars games can be monetized. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, unless you are able to scrub the Star Wars music from them completely. Which some folks do. I, I don't like to, though. you get any of those John Williams tunes in there and you say goodbye to your ad revenue it's all going to Disney where's everyone grab that scroll what is the riddle of steel if I don't know it it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me that's from is there anything behind here I'm sure I've ever been around here before. I don't think there is anything, is there? It's just a, a little additional area you can walk around. I, uh, I don't I, on on speaking of Dragon Lands Three. I don't know if I have any plans to do any streams or videos of that yet. I'm still trying to decide if the game is actually good or not. I haven't really made my mind up yet. Have we done everything here? Is that is that the lot? I think it is. Right, we better go rescue Dinah here then. She's in this pit. Not yet. We shall see. Destiny or not. Hello, Dinah here. Another NPC that talks like she's in an Ultima game. I thank thee for saving me. Twas courageous to follow the likes of Minsk into battle, if a touch foolish. I have naught to offer thee in return, save my services in battle. Perhaps, mayhaps I could travel with thee a while, and an opportunity may arise for repayment of my debt. Minsk is, well, Minsk, but he hath a strong sword arm, whilst I am practised in the arcane arts. Shall we join? Dinah here! Look, Bull, we found her! Oh, glorious day! Now I believe that it tis truly thee. I wouldst never have thought that I should wouldst be glad to see this rodent. Yes, my witch, it's me, oh Dudley. If you may thought that Minsk and Boo and you made a great butt kicking team, just wait till Dinah here joins us and unleashes her magic against the evil critters that bar our way. C critters? I'm still bleeding for the last one of these c critters. I cannot think of a better name for this scum. Uh, right. How did you come to be captured by the likes of these creatures? Alas, we were ambushed in the night. Minsk was overcome by yet another blow to the head, <laughs> and I was spirited away before he could recover. With but two eyes apiece, there is naught more that we could have done. Certainly, it will be safer for all of us if we join together. What sayest thou? Um, who are you that you warrant a bodyguard? I am Dinah here of Rashomon. Tis not a title, tis just where I am from. We two are indeed far afield of our home, but tis a necessary rite of passage. Minsk must make his degemma by seeking adventure, whilst I must prove my worth to my sisters in much the same manner. Tis an interesting time for the realms, with great things foretold for the Sword Coast. Tis therefore a likely place to look for what we need. What dost thou seek on this adventurous road? Mayhaps we can all find what we need together. You are welcome in my company. One cannot have too many friends. Except you can. Six is officially too many. No, five, because that doesn't include the player. Uh, five friends is fine. Any more than that is right out. Um, I have no doubt thou shalt make an interesting travelling companion. Right, there we go. Yes, welcome aboard, Dinah here. Our mage for the playthrough. 
Thy graciousness in rescue is appreciated. Hast thou also rescued my journal? It was taken away by the gnolls. Uh, I'm afraid we haven't seen anything like that. <laughs> Seven is a crowd, yeah. <laughs> Six is a party. Seven's a crowd. Uh, right. Diner here. Guess what? I've got a million bajillion scrolls for you. Enjoy. This is what I've been saving them all for. I guess we're going to write all the green ones in, huh? Might as well. Lovely jubbly. I'll give you a couple of magic missile scrolls up here. And that, and what is that? Protection for petrification. Don't worry about that for now. Right, who needs an arrow top up? Khalid needs to level up, bless him. Um, but he does also, yes, need an arrow top up. Let's level you up. You get another proficiency slot as well, huh? Um, well, how about another one in longbow? There you go. Excellent. Oh, and uh, you need to level up too, don't you? Okay, uh, done. That was easy. Um, right, spells. Spells, 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 spells. Do you know what? I've just realized that, uh, yeah, Jahir has had a whole extra slot here and I uh, totally forgot about it. <laughs> uh, what do we want to have? Um, I'm going to be really boring, I'm afraid, and just have an extra slot of Cure Light Wounds. Oh my god, Minsk can level up as well, I've just noticed. Minsk, my man. What should we give you? I didn't realize how he put, had a point of proficiency in mace. That's interesting. Uh, let's give you two-handed, since you have been using your great sword to great effect. All right. It's hard to spot the little tiny plus symbol with these very small portraits, I'm afraid, so. I don't know how long it's been since he uh, was able to level up, but uh, anyway. Right, back back to the spells page. Right, so, uh, let's see. The minute she's got two magic missile. What well, do we want to mess around with? Blindness, maybe? Blindness seems pretty good. Chromatic orb is another one that's pretty decent. Hmm. Let's chuck blindness in there. Level two, nothing. Level three, dispel magic, but don't have any slots for that. And you don't get cantrips, do you? In uh, in AD and D, uh, ain't a thing. All right. Uh, come. Let's Bad luck, uh, Dinah here. You're uh, you're an AD and AD and D second edition mage at low level, so that means you are officially a bit fecking useless. I better give her Jahira's sling and bullets now that I think about it. So that she has something to do. <laughs> uh, right. There we go. And let's set you up so that your script is just standard. Uh, no, ranged. There we go. No casting spells without my say so, oh, Missy. Read in the morning. It will be better.
Whoa! Gosh, I forgot about you guys. Yeah. Surprise Nulls, everybody. It's alright, Dudley's got this in hand. Nice. There we go. No cantrips. How does one Eldritch blast? Uh, go, got to give food before the shop closes. All right, see you, Obagovo. You are quite welcome, man. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. I genuinely mean that. I've been enjoying this these these Baldur's Gate streams a hell of a lot more than I actually thought I would. So far. Uh, Dryad Falls. Why the fuck not? Why not? Why not? Should we rest while we're at it as well? And then the little steam dragon said, I knew I could do it, I knew I could. What art thou about, Minsk? Nothing, just telling Boo a good night story. Minsk, thou dost worry me increasingly. Why, is there something wrong with Minsk? Thou speakest to thine hamster almost incessantly. Tis not quite, mm, normal. Well, neither is spewing fire from your fingertips and dine here does it every day. Minsk can't do it. I am a learned invoker, and my purpose is to exercise the arts magical. And Minsk is a ranger, and he is trained to speak with the creatures of the wild. If you can't hear Boo, does this, not, does this does it mean that he's not talking? Indeed, but it appears that thou givest him much authority in thine life. Yes, because Boo is my friend. I listen to your advice too. Indeed thou dost. Hmm. Mayhaps this matter should be laid to rest until we are at such a time that we return to Rashomon. Many Othlaw art great healers, and surely it is in their power to help. On mine own, I have no means to improve thine condition. Good morning, everybody. If it is indeed morning, it is technically still. Wait, yeah, it is. What do you want? I always get the day and hour mixed up for some reason. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Uh. Oh, hello. Grr, the witch has gotten me loose. I shall something something. I shall get her, gut her with my teeth. Wait, the witch has gotten loose. Oh, I see. He's talking about Dinah here. Enough talk. Is he actually going to attack her? I think he is. Run down here! Wait, now he's now he's bullying him away. Stop it. You stop that at once. There we go. Ooh. Tell me what I must do. Magic halberd. Strength. More jewelry. Including a very purple looking gem. It's a garnet, apparently. More spells for the spell book. Not that's what's important. It's interesting to see him talk about Rashman. Yeah, you do. You go to uh, you go to Rashman in uh, Mask of the Betrayer, I think. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, we should probably heal Imowen, shouldn't we? Bless her cotton socks. It yeah, uh, Mask of the Betrayers. I've n I've never played it myself. Any. I'll confess. Um, then the hell it is very good though, from what I've heard. For the fallen! Better than the base game, really. Um, not that there's anything really wrong with the base game Neverwinter Nights 2, in my opinion. I I really enjoyed Neverwinter Nights 2's main campaign. It's pretty by the numbers fantasy stuff, but. Uh, quite nicely executed. It's just a very janky game to play in Everyone in Nights 2. Like, it has a really awkward and horrible camera system. Yeah, but never, LP Neverwinter Nights 2. Oh, yeah, someday. Definitely. 
Definitely. My, my life will not be complete unless we've done a Let's Play involving Kelgar Iron Fist. Another bear, everybody. Which means another 420 experience points. Brace yourselves. We're going in. Okay, that went much better this time. And Vera's series was life-changing. Well, Pete certainly seems to think so. One of these days where I'm going to do the sequel, and we'll play Darkness Over Daggerford. I actually have the intro for that series pre-recorded. I did it ages ago. But then, I don't know, I can't remember what it was that happened. Some schedule shenanigans, some real-life bollocks happened. I don't remember what it was exactly, and I never ended up actually recording the rest of the series. I, jim I pretty much just made the intro. Oh my word. You crazy winter wolves. Yeah, I think I, at the time, you, 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 that sounds about right, Dr. Fart, honestly. That sounds like a thing I would do. Have already too many projects on the go and then think about starting a new one. That checks out. I put a lot of work into it though, and you'll when eventually when eventually I do do it, you'll see. I I was I was doing all sorts of stuff. I was fucking around with the Aurora tool set and everything. Oh hello! Stop! You have trespassed on our territory. You shall not be allowed to leave until you have paid tribute. We demand 50 gold in tribute. I shouldn't we just kill the whole lot of you, you hairy piles of hyena dung? You will die for that! Someone is gonna die for it. Ahem? <laughs> Sneaking up on the arches, I see you there. Is this guy some like elite knoll or something or are we just rolling really poorly? I think we're just rolling really poorly. That's all you'll ever need. Not yet. Oh, our inventory's full again, huh? Well, let's fix that. You know what? Let's give. I wish you could click and drag sometimes in this game when it came to the inventory management, but uh. Let's give Imowin the shinies, because that'll give uh, Dinah here more space for the scrolls. It is, and it always will be. Speaking of scrolls. What do we got? Ghoul touch. Add it to the book. Huh? We shall see. Destiny or not. Get near her, take a gem bag, and kick her out. That's tempting. I'm sure, there's somewhere around here we can buy a gem bag, though. Uh. You own and always wanted to play through this game, but it always feels so difficult. Do you have any tips? I guess, yes. Tip number one, play as a fighter. Tip number two, uh, try and get a copy of the manual. The manual for this game helps a ton. I've got a physical copy of it around here somewhere that I managed to get off eBay, but uh, a PDF of it will do just fine as well. That lot pleases you, Kram. Let's waste no time. Oh, there's more. My blade will cut you down to size. 
The manual is really helpful for a number of reasons, but especially because it um, it gives you a detailed breakdown of every magic spell in the game and what they do, um, and the magic system. No, uh, no, understanding the magic system is half the battle in Baldur's Gate. N maybe not so much in the first game, but definitely in the second. Plus, the manual is just a lovely book anyway. It's from it's from the age when. You know, companies made nice chunky manuals for their games and put a ton of effort into it, you know. It has loads of lore and background info in it and notes scribbled in the margins from Elminster and, uh, what's the other guy's name? Not YOLO, that's, that's, he's from Ultima. Um, I can't remember his name now. Volo, thank you, there we go. The wolf, not a winter wolf this time, though. Dudley, stop getting eaten by the wildlife, please. You miss manuals like that? Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, Willow. It is about to be attacked by two who would defile the majesty of nature. They have avoided my charms and must be stopped before the irreparable harm is done. Would you heed my plea? Oh, well, there's one more tree. I have important tasks. One more tree? Even if with this were just one more tree, it would still be priceless to me. As it is, it is the tree to which I am bonded. If it dies, I die. Please help. Uh, all right, fine. I will do whatever I can to help. I thank you, for although they seem dim of wit, they could do still could do much damage this way. Oh, this way. She's leading us, I mean. Oh, also. Yeah, hello, nature's servant. Um, You need to level up. Nature's servant. Um, the single weapon. Sword and shield style. Yeah, that's what you need. All right. Cannot save it this time. What oh boy. do you want? What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's right. wrong. There we go. Quick save. Let's have a little chat. The. Uh. Hey there. I'm Caldo. This is my brother Crumb. I'm Caldo. This is my brother Crumb. I don't know who you are, but I'll not have you sneaking about behind us while we work. We think there's treasure in this tree, and we're, if you want to get up front and help, do it. Otherwise, me and Crumb will do something, uh, well, something really nasty. Ain't that right, Crumb? It's starting to sound a little bit like the sheriff from Disney's Robin Hood, I think, but uh, anyway. <laughs> you don't really want to do this, do you? Just think of how beautiful this tree is. It's truly a wonder of nature, Dudley said unconvincingly. Well, if you're not gonna help, I'm not gonna let you just sit and watch us do it. You were probably gonna rob us when we were done, weren't you? Me and Crumb don't cotton the bandits one bit, do we, Crumb? What? There we go. Fighting time. No, it was Crumb, Dudley. Um, all right, we got a girdle, we got some gold, we got a potion, and a magical club. Tell me what I must do. A magic club for Jahira. And ditch that stupid staff. There you go. 
We'll identify it later. It is, and it always will be. Uh, ah, well, come, let's leave this place. My tree is in such pain. Thanks be to you. Here is a potion that might help you on your journeys. Uh, what potion? She gave us an. She, she seriously just gave us a frigging antidote. She bloody did, didn't she? <sighs> well, I mean, technically, yes, it is a potion, and yes, it will help on our journeys. But what do you want? Lead in the morning. Dryads. Wonder if we should heal or just rest at this point. Ah, oh, let's heal. In fact, Dudders, you can heal yourself, you lazy git. There you go. The post guy gag zero, so she can't reward you with sex. <sighs> Damn. Not yet. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Revenge on that dryad. Cloud Peak Mountains. Who is in charge of putting up signposts in this country? I don't know. Oh, shouldn't there be a little girl with a cat down here somewhere? If memory serves. Oh, no, there's just a fucking dire wolf, apparently. I was gonna say vampiric wolf, but no, I think that's somewhere else, the vampiric wolf. But we do have a cave. That's Hello? Important. Anybody home? Apparently not. What do we got? Another magic halberd? These things are littered all over the place. It always will be. I wonder where Dudley's keeping them. I mean, it's strapped crossways across his back like uh, like uh, Simon Pegg with those two assault rifles in in, in Hot Fuzz. Uh, all that matters is that two stood against many. We shall see. Destiny or not. Should have been a voice actor. Ah, oh, maybe. In a different life. I screw up my lines all the time, though. And, you know... Like, 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 let's be honest. We're living in the age of uh, recursive algorithms. I was going to say AI, but people get really pissy if you call it AI, because it's technically not, or whatever, but... Voice actors might might end up being out of a job pretty soon unless it gets legislated against, so Ah oh, yes, there's the dead cat. Oh the poor dead pussy cat. Up there somewhere there's a little girl, isn't there? Looking for said pussy cat. This is one of the weirdest and most senselessly tragic little bits of the game, and I've no idea no idea why it's in here. But it just is. Pixie, my cat, she was playing close to the waterfall and slipped. I hope she's all right. She's not, kid. She didn't make it, did she? At least I can give her a proper funeral, though. Here, it's the last of my allowance, but you can have it for finding Pixie. 23 gold. Why, game developers? Why'd you have to put that in there? This isn't Pillars of Eternity, all right? You can't just put grim, depressing stuff in here. Why can't we refuse the reward? Probably because the quest writer just couldn't be asked to put dialogue options in. He was working on a tight schedule. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoever wrote that quest was having a bad day. That's all I'll say. Not that tragic if you meet some conditions. Oh, wait. No, I think I know what you mean, actually. Isn't, the, like, the little girl not actually a little girl or something? Now you mention it, it's starting to come back to me a bit. Or is that a different game I'm thinking of? I am much more at ease in the forest. Um, what did I just pick? Ah, yeah. More scrolls. Grease me up, woman! Let's waste no time. Different weird kid. Oh, okay. Still BG1, but not this map. Okay, right. That happens a lot in this game. I get stuff confused like that. Whoa! Jesus! Oh, like, speak of the- wait, no, Dreadwolf, not Vampiric Wolf, Dreadwolf, okay. <laughs> oh god. Then to hell with you. Yes, to hell with you, friggin' loop to Dread here. What um, Come, let's leave this place. Who leveled up? I care not. <laughs> Just running around looking at my party like Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, like, WHICH ONE ARE YOU LEVELED UP?! It was Imowen. More open locks, please. 100, nice. Uh, and a proficiency slot in... Well, we can't have short bows, so where is it gonna be? Oh, probably. No, we can't have short sword either. Well, uh, I guess single weapon style then. Tell me what I must do. Read in the morning. It will be better. Firely Forest. We really should be getting back to Nashkel, but... Nah. Firely Forest, let's go. What's the worst that could await us no here? One. Not even you will remember if we were good men or bad. I remember days like this, when my father took me to the forest and we ate wild blueberries more than 20 years ago. Not yet. That's a, that's a weird dialogue line to put in the game when you consider... This is Baldur's Gate we're playing. We should not technically remember who our father is. Um, unless I suppose he's talking about Garion. Yeah, I, I guess you could sell it that way. I, all right, fine. Fine! I'm just arguing with the voices in my head at this point. I'm just preemptive trying to... My brain, over the years, you see, of doing this for a living, has, has been trained to preemptively say what the chat is probably going to say. So... The end result is I sit here talking to myself like a madman. Ooh, I just heard skeleton noises. Is this? Is this where Basilus hangs out? If it isn't, it's near there. No, Basilus is up to the north somewhere, isn't he? For a minute there, I forgot where we were on the map. Also, precious, precious arrows. Yes, please. Can I help you? That's what's important. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's up near High Hedge, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I thought Basilus then. I just thought, oh no, wilderness skeletons. Basilus. Also. What now? Need your pantaloons pressed? <laughs> Why does anybody? I, I don't know if anybody mentioned it last time I asked this question, but why has Jahira got totally different dialogue lines to what I remember her having? Is she just using Baldur's Gate two dialogue? Because I haven't had a single yes or omnipresent authority figure. 
in this entire playthrough so far. Destiny or not. Or maybe all the times I've played this in the past, she was using Baldur's Gate 2 lines, and this is actually the Baldur's Gate 1 lines that I've simply never heard before. Now, that can't be right, because I've played vanilla Enhanced Edition. But then again, it's Beam Dogs Enhanced Edition, so who knows what they messed with. I don't know. Not yet. Let's waste no time. Are the Conan lines part of the base? No, 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 no. They're a mod. They are a very silly mod that I installed because we're playing as Dudley the Destroyer. Our supermarket own brand, Conan the Barbarian. We have Conan at home. <laughs> yes, yes. Alternatively, Dudley is what you get when you order Conan on Wish.com. Um, Dost thou miss Candlekeep, Dudley? Surely thou art not as far afield from thy home as I am. But do thine eyes turn in its direction and fill with tears sometimes? Uh, what's the Dudleyest answer? I do not miss the place, but strangely enough, I miss the people. Bunch of weirdos that they were. People are part of any land and help form our impression of it. Oft we must wonder whether it is the land that changeth people, or people who changeth the land. It is, and it always will be. Come, yeah, whatever. This place. Get back in line, mage. <laughs> Conan from the Netflix adaptation? Boy, that's harsh. Oh, hello. hello there. Hey there, pal. Seems like your little party's wandered a bit off the beaten path. Well, that's too bad for you, because you've had the misfortune of meeting the fastest jaw in the West. See that man over yonder? His name's Zal. He's the fastest dart thrower that has ever walked the Sword Coast. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't want to test the patience of such a man. So why don't you do the wise thing and hand over all your money? Otherwise, you're going to be in a heap of trouble. Uh, okay, it's got to be answer number one. Because it is the Dudleyest answer. Are you some sort of moron? The fastest dart throw in the West? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Bring it on, Vex. You tell Zal to show us his stuff. Hear that, Zal? Seems like they don't take you seriously. Guess it's time to show what for, huh? Sorry, guys, but you're in for a world of hurt. Get him! Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. And they hear the lamentation of the women. Uh, you know what? We might... I don't remember if this guy is actually all he's cracked up to be, but I am gonna get, uh... Do you reckon we can get away with the blindness? Did it work? Blinded! Ah, hurrah! Very good. I was going to use a magic missile, but then I thought, actually, blindness would probably be better. There you go, that's how you deal with an expert dart throw. You just make him blind! And then you chunk his best friend. That is a lot of darts, admittedly. Um... Let's give him to you, uh, Dino here, as a backup. Ah, what pleases you, Kram? A pair of braces. What do you want? Tell me what I need in the morning. It will be better. Kobolds! And the kobolds actually managed to hit Dudley, and Dudley decided to rage again all by himself. For some reason. You silly Dudley, do you just really hate kobolds or something? Maybe that's it. What you want? You have need of me? Not yet. It is. <laughs> me you have need of me? Not yet. Grant me revenge. This 
specialized dart thrower fighter and infamously broken build in second edition? I did not know that. Is that what that's a reference to? Put that cookie down! Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately there is only a Conan set, a sound, sound uh, set. There isn't, uh, there isn't um, a broader sort of Schwarzenegger sound set. At least I don't think there is. I didn't see one in the list. It's the rate of fire on the top, plus two damage per hit. I see. I don't recall if I've ever been to this part of the map before. In any previous playthroughs. If I did, it was so long ago I've forgotten. I think I vaguely maybe recall Dart Thrower Man. That's about it. Oh, hello. What have we here? Hi, Daryl, Larry. Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. We're real pleased to meet you. Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Hey, can I get your autographs? This is a reference to something, and I don't know what it is, I'm afraid. What would the Zvart and Cobalt and a Tasloy be wandering around calling themselves Larry, Daryl, and Daryl? See, Daryl, I told you these guys were the wrong generation. That's what's important. Yeah, it's it's a it's a reference to something, all right. Bob Newhart shot up. Yeah, that ah, that one went way over my head. I'm afraid. How about skeletons? No one, not even you, will remember if you were good man or bad. I still haven't rewatched Conan since we started doing this series again. But to be honest with you, I think I do want to rewatch Conan. But I think I also just want to do an, a Schwarzenegger film binge in general. Actually, it's been a while. I'd like to watch Commando and True Lies and all the good stuff again. Predator. Terminator 1 and 2. Last Action Hero as well, actually. That's a great movie. I watched the one where young Arnold gets pregnant. Oh, which one was that? I remember that one. I know the one you mean. I've watched it before. I just can't remember what it's called. My uh, and there's that other one as well where he's with Danny DeVito. And they're brothers or something. Twins. That was it, yeah. And Junior was the one where he gets pre pregnant, right? I, I, I like Arnie. He's a cool dude. Uh, the documentary about him on Netflix is pretty good, by the way. If you haven't watched it and you were thinking about it, it's uh, it's pretty good. I haven't watched his new series, actually. What was it? Uh, what's it called? Fubar? I haven't got around to watching that yet. He is a wholesome dude, isn't he? I like Arnie because, you know, he's just... He's just... He, he's, he's one of... How can I put this? Like... He's a very good male role model, you know, a very, very masculine role model who isn't also a terrible person, which is sort of a weirdly rare thing. Kindergarten cop. Oh, yeah. It's not a tumor. Right, travelers from the north, halt! Uh oh, wait a minute. No, no, okay, no, we're good. I don't think this is the encounter I thought it was. 
Um, you trespass quite deep into Armenian territory. Perhaps you have come to spy on our supposed troop buildup. It's quite funny, the stupid notions you northern barbarians can get stuck in your heads. Uh. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is the deadliest option. That's unfortunate. <sighs> All right. I'm tired of being insulted by every pompous idiot that I come across. Draw steel. Why, it seems we've stumbled across some berserkers. I had suspected as much when I caught your, when I caught your scent a few moments ago. But your behavior clinches it. Dear God, Alexander, let us make short work of these peasants. Get him. I hope none of you is a mage. Oh boy, you are archers that are very, very concerningly accurate. I think we've already raged for our, for the day, unfortunately. That's all, folks. <laughs> I forgot he had that line. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, no wonder he's sucking. His his sword's broken. Oh God, poor poor Khalid. Um, where is that magic longsword we ended up with? Does Dudley have it? He does, doesn't he? Dudley, have that. Khalid, you have this. But for the moment, you equip your bow and you run. Minsk, distract this lunatic. Please. Before she kills poor Khalid. There we go. Tell me what I must do. Did somebody just die? It wasn't one of ours, was it? No, I don't think so. I think somebody's leveled up, but I'm not sure who. Not yet. Who leveled up? It was Dinah here. Okay. It is, and it always will be. I don't think we've had a single party death in this playthrough that, that wasn't Dudley. I'm now realizing. Oh, we got some cool arrows. Yep. Some extra good, good arrows. Huh? And also some magic studded leather armor. Which I think I'm just going to put on Emma straight away and hope it's not cursed. Turns out I don't think it is. We shall see. Destiny or not. Who like the forest? Yeah, we were awfully close to dying there, weren't we? Um, in fact, it's pretty much time to rest. You right now. I punch. Oh, I think Boo wants another story. Do you know any good stories, Dinah here? Minsk has really run out of them. That must surely be joking. I would never relate a tale to a hamster. Please, pretty please, you could tell Boo about that time you went for a swim in the Lake of Dragons and Orovar stole your clothes and then... Minsk, thou would not dare to... <clears throat> I mean, tis not a proper story for such a young hamster. I would uh, tell him the story of the Princess Swan and her candy castle. Peanut castle. I think that would interest Boo more. Indeed. So, once upon a time, the beautiful Princess Sunflower Seed went to a dance in the Sunflower Dale in the Peanut Forest. Minsk, what was that about Orovar? The Lake of Dragons? It's somewhere in the Dale Lands, is it not? Sorry, Boo. Imowen wants to hear about Orovar. Uh, we took the same ship to Westgate with Orovar, and he really liked the diner here. Minsk! Imowen, I would appreciate it if thou wouldst not... Thou would not... Wouldst not pester our friend with this teach me burning hands? Tis not a joking affair. Thou thou couldst start a forest fire if thou art not careful. So, Minsk, what did Orovar do? On the other hand, thou art quite cautious for a rogue. Tis not Hathrun's custom to turn away one who is not will who is willing to learn. Mayhaps I can be persuaded to teach thee. Promise? <sighs> Promise. That Orovar, he had a cabin by the Lake of Dragons, and he invited us to stay for a week. And Dinah here, she was so seasick that she was unable to travel. That means I think Boo'd rather hear the story about the Princess Sunflower Seed the Peanut Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Our armor is cursed, but it's an insidious curse. Imowen is now into 40k and will spend all the party's gold on figures. What do you want? No! Tell me what I must do. Let's waste no time. Alright, well, it's the middle of the friggin' night. Well, it's, well, it's 4 a.m. Let me explore most of this. Well, there's still a chunk over here to look at. And uh, we did definitely pick up everything back there, didn't we? I think so. We got another girdle. We got a lot of stuff to identify. Like, wow. Not come. Let's leave this place. Westgate, another no lit location and another one that's two DLC. I better remember that one. I never really got around to the DLC for uh, for uh, Never Nights 2. I think I played a teeny, teensy, tiny, tiny bit of Storm of Zaheer, but really only a tiny bit. I never, I never played Mask of the Betrayer because you, you really need to play the main campaign first, um, and I, I've only completed the main campaign of Never Went Nights 2 once. And that was before I owned the DLC. Mask of the Betrayer is very good. Yep, so I've heard. One day. One day we'll play it. There's an awful lot of Neverwinter Nights 1 to get through first, though. Mysteries of Westgate and the Ostian DLC. Same people who did Darkness of Daggerford and the enhanced version of Tyrants of the Moon Sea. Ah! I see. I see. Probably quite good then. Chunked. Chunked. That's all you'll ever need. Oh, we had a carry capacity again. Yep. Thanks, everyone, for I confirming that. <laughs> it is late in the morning. It would be better. You didn't believe the hype, but it actually delivers. Yeah. I look forward to getting around to it someday. All right, let's get back to Nashkel. Grant me one oh request. my word, really? Grant me Wargs. Revenge. Wargs, is it? Junked. Don't even have any loot. All right, let's get back to Nashville at long last, everybody. Wow, I didn't. I didn't expect our expedition to the Null Fortress to take an entire stream, but uh, it kind of did in the end, mostly just because I got a little distracted <laughs> on the way back. But that's okay. I explored a few areas that I either have never been to before, or it's been so long that I uh, don't remember them. And that's always nice. Injecting a little bit of something fresh into a playthrough when, you, when you've done this section of the game so many times, it helps. Let's, uh, ooh, actually let's make a detour into the temple, get our stuff identified. If you guys could figure out how to walk around these rocks, that'd be grand, thank you. Lead writer for DoD also did Siege of Shadowdale and Crimson Tide of Tethia himself. He's now working on Blade of Netheril, a long multi-chapter story that follows the story of SOS and T-O-T and references DoD and T-O-T-M. I, I only caught about half of that and then my brain stopped working, but uh, it sounds good. All that matters is that two stood against many. Watch over thee upon thy quest, 
Uh, yes. Okay. Right. Uh, identify time. This... All of these. The Girdle of Bluntness, Destroyer of the Hills. Having lost friends and loved ones to a series of raids by hill giants, Garar the Powerful made it his mission to cleanse his homeland of their presence. It's not known where he acquired this item, but with it he single-handedly dispatched dozens of the creatures, and while protected from the blows of their clubs, all the while protected from the blows of their clubs, the remaining giants fled to neighboring lands, lands that lacked a similar champion and did not fare as well. Equipped abilities, armor class plus four versus crushing attacks only. Okay. Another annoying situational item. Uh, and then this is a sword plus one. Heavy halberd. The Chesley Crusher. Ah, yes. First wielded by the much maligned Ensign Chesley of the first exploratory fleet of Waterdeep. This famous halberd has been passed around for generations, but only those strong enough to carry its considerable weight. The iron haft of this heavy pole arm makes, makes the weapon slow and unwieldy, but its sheer mass smashes skulls and shatters limbs. Equipped ability sets attacks per round to 1. Thaco plus 2. Damage 1d10 plus 6. Slashing or piercing, whichever is better. Not bad, actually. And Beastmaster. Like others of its type, this halberd consists of a cleaver-like axe blade mounted on a staff approximately 6 feet in length. Uh, it's also been bestowed with a small number of magical properties, however, thus making it more effective in combat. Its keen blade, for instance, will shear through your opponent's flesh to find the bone, while its barbed tip will seek out gaps in their armor. Plus one Thaco. 1d10 plus one damage. Cool. Uh, oh, we're not, we're not quite done yet, sir. We have more. Here it is. All right, uh, this is a, a flail plus one, I think, probably. And then we've got braces. Uh, oh, and everyone's army, you're right, you're right. Yeah, we should do that. Beastmaster cannot be used by... Oh, no, I don't think Beastmaster was the name of the uh, the halberd. I think I just scrolled down like this, and I saw the thing at the top, and I assumed it was the name of the item, but it's not. Um, unless maybe it was, in which case that's just weird. Uh, braces, something, something. Equipped abilities, armor class 8. Gauntlets of Dexterity, the Brawling Hands. This pair of gauntlets was likely developed in Karatur to aid masters of the martial arts. Legends speak of such masters from the Far East, bringing these items with them on their journeys, though details remain sketchy. Equipped abilities, Dexterity 18. Not bad. Braces of Archery. The Dale protectors, uh, the Dale's protector during a, during a dangerous meeting with a rival ruler, the King of the Great Dale requested the protection of his best archers in addition to his usual guard. The archers, each equipped with an enchanted bow and braces, hid within range of the gathering. As predicted, enemy troops attempted to seize the king and force their will over his rule, but none had anticipated the amazing accuracy and lethality of the hidden archers. The king was able to escape. <coughs> Where did that come from? <coughs> I need a drink. God, my throat's dry. Sorry about that. <coughs> Frog in my throat. Uh. Something, something, Archers. The king was able to escape unharmed. In fact, none of the ambush members even lived to approach him. <clears throat> Thaco plus two with missile weapons. Sweet. I'm probably going to give that to Khalid, I guess. Aha, and there's the book. One of the most popular recent tomes of leadership and influence is the cynically entitled book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Like others of its ilk, it peddles the philosophy of personal ascendancy and manipulation by charisma alone. The authors and advocates of such tomes claim that by drawing on the most recent theories in sociology and interpersonal psychology, it is possible to raise an individual's charisma by a single point. <laughs> in truth, such increases in personal charisma are the product of magical spells placed on the text as it is in, as, as it is in the writing process. Uh, these same spells also cause the tome to disappear after their first use. An excellent marketing strategy, you must concede. Charisma raised by one point permanently. Special, the book is consumed upon use, usage, place into quick item slot. Uh, what happens if you try and eat the book? You 
you, you knew a guy who used to advocate for that book unironically. He also liked killing with the screwdriver in GTA Vice City. Strange dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Him and we need to we need to identify your arm. And also we need to identify Jahira's little club here, don't we, as well. I guess we can get rid of her old one. I'm not gonna bother identifying the arrows. Pretty sure they're just arrows plus one. Uh, we shall see. Over the Destiny or not. Alright, let's identify that club. It is a club plus one. A little extra weight, maybe a spike or two, and a little enchantment never hurt. Which is to say, it always hurts. Lovely. Um, Helm watch over and also, Emowyn's armor. His armor was the property of the famous rogue Telbar. How or why it left his possession is not known. Statistics, armor class 5, 3 versus slashing, 4 versus pissing and missile, requires 6 strength. Cool. I think that's everything. Okie dokie. So, who gets what? Braces of defense, I guess. Can Jahira use these? She can't. I mean, Jahira. Bah! Dinah here, not Jahira. What about. I mean, it doesn't seem that good. Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. I've lost them. There they are. Armor class A. Armor class A is not very good. You know? Armor class A is kind of crap. Therefore, I, I decree that these braces are crap. Um, brawling hands. Who, who would benefit from dex 18? Maybe Khalid. Fractum. Uh, Jahira would get a boost out of her AC if she had it, actually. Same with Minsk. Hmm. I... Hmm. I think... I think I'm going to give it to Jahira. And Kali can have these to make his bow shooting better. I mean, he's got Thacko 13 now with that longbow. That's not bad. Uh... And then the brawling hand, yeah, the brawling hands. They can go to Jahira. There we go. That brings, yeah, that brings her her AC to minus two, which is pretty darn good. Wait, hang on a minute. There we go. Oh my god, I'm getting this all wrong. No, you get those. This damn UI. There. Uh, Viconia, Brownwin, Mince, Dino here, and M1. Yeah, that's the plan. Someone with us. Um, oh, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Can Dino here use that? No, she can't. Alright, never mind then. So these braces are basically. Rubbish. I suppose Dinah here can go from AC 10 to AC 8. That's something, I, I guess. It's a small improvement. It's not much of one, though. Um, we got more broken weapons. Minx, did you break another sword? Yeah, I think you did. It's alright, we got spares, you're good. And then we got this long sword plus one. Oh my... That is a small improvement, although... Um, I need. I don't, I don't know if the trader actually has any bastard swords. We'll have to check that. All right. Valor, please 
What is the riddle of steel? Let's waste no time. Let's leave this place. No, let's not leave this place. We've got stuff to do. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, here are your pelts, my dude. So that's a free 1500 gold right off the bat. Okay, Jade Ring, Rainbow Obsidian Necklace. I think we're probably going to get rid of these. The Chesley Crusher is kind of cool, but at the same time, meh. Destroyer of the Hills, that can go as well. So can these. Boosh. Men's squad have you got? Okay. Alright. Lots of jewelry to get rid of. Flail plus one, that can go. That can all go. Oh, we didn't identify that scroll, did we? Oops. I think we'll keep those scrolls for now. All right, that's uh, we now have ten grand. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. Does Khalid have plate mail? Khalid, buddy. Can I help you? Oh, you're still slumming it with splint mail. Oh, forget that. We're buying you some plate, my man. What do you want? Also, where did that tome get to? Because I'm giving it to Dudley. Put it in your quick slot. And although it is difficult to imagine Dudley reading a book, there we go. He's now charisma fourteen, reaction plus two. Nice. Tell me what Lead in the morning will be better. All right, Khalid, let's get you some plate mail. What else? Do you have any bastard swords, sir? You do! I shall take several. <laughs> I shall take four of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Four of your finest bastard swords, sir. You just ate it, yeah. Um. Uh, do we want anything else while we here? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, done. Not yet. Khalid, my man, have the plate armor. Enjoy. You've now got an AC of one instead of whatever it was earlier. Do you need any extra arrows, man? We can have those. Maybe we should buy some more arrows. Yeah, we should probably buy some more arrows. It is Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Revenge. If you had more damn strength, Khalid, I'd give you that composite longbow. But alas, you do not. Hello, let's see we go. Oh, he's a bit overloaded now. Oh, did I accidentally? God damn it. There we are. That's better. <laughs> uh, right, and then... Imwin, you can get some arrows as well. And... Dino here, you're going to need extra bullets. Now rather than later. Uh, that's what's important. All that matters is that two stood against many. I will show you justice. Uh, good question, Deacon. I, I, I imagine there's probably some magic splint mail out there, even if it's just splint mail plus one, plus two, etc. I re maybe I think I reckon the Smith in Beragos might have something for us. Right. Oop, don't do that. Okay, folks. 
Uh, I think we're ready to just about call it a day, although... Khalid... Oh, you, you already have another longsword plus one, don't you, matey? Uh, anybody else want a longsword plus one? I guess you can hold on to it for now, Minsk. Uh, Dudders, meanwhile. Fresh pair of bastards. There we go. For you, sir. There we go. Now nice. that goes back to a respectable 15 and 17. Love to see it. Uh, now then. This would be a good place for a hench. To heal now or simply rest want? at the inn? That's the question. Or we'll probably rest at the inn. We shall Let's see do that. Destiny or not. Let's waste no time. Never had no There we go. You can get more Ankeg armor made. Yeah, I suppose so. Is Ankeg armor actually better than plate or is it just the same as plate? I can't remember. Tell me what I'm come. Let's leave this place. What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, Same it stats, less well, weight. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably still worth doing wrong. then. All right. Save game. Dudders 3. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this week, I'm afraid. When we come back, though, next week, we'll be continuing on and actually doing the Nashville Mines. What level did we kind of get to in the end? Level 3. More or less across the board. Although, Imwin's level 4 because Thief. But, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Level 3 Invoker as well. Mages level up super slow in this game, so that's a big deal. Um, hope you upload the series. Be ashamed to let it fade into memory. Yeah, I probably will upload it. I probably will. Anyway, um, yeah, we've managed to hit level 3. We've got loads of good stuff. We've got tons of money. I'm ready to take on the mines. Probably a little over-leveled for the mines, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. And then after that, we'll be booting out Jahira and Khalid. Although, do you know, honestly... Uh, I mean, Jahira's Jahira, but Khalid... I'm, I'm kind of liking Khalid's longbow loadout at the moment, with his faco of something very low. I forget what it is right now. What is it at the moment with his uh, with his bow? It's 13. I mean, he's a pretty darn good archer right now, is Khalid. But, um, yeah, my long-term goal is to, is to ditch these two. And, uh, yeah, replace them with Viconia and Branwen. So, we'll probably, um, we'll see, definitely see, uh, see, see them again in Baldur's Gate 2. But presumably we'll also see them again in Siege of Dragonspear as well. So, it won't be the last we see of either of them. It is, and it always will be. Huh? But uh, the problem is they come as a pair. I can't get rid of just the one and keep the other without using a little glitch in the game that I don't like to abuse. So... Um, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll be Branwen and Viconia is the plan going forwards, unless we meet somebody else that would be handy, but I don't think we will. I think, I think there's, I love Branwen. I don't think she's in Baldur's Gate 2 is Branwen. I have no idea if she's in Siege of Dragonspear, but, uh, I don't, um, I don't, uh, I don't think she's in Baldur's Gate 2 at all, which is tragic because... Branwen is hilarious. Um, she has a cameo in too? Does she really? Oh, fair enough. Um, but yeah, she's, she's very amusing. So I do I like having Branwen in the party in, in this game. Um, and Viconia, obviously, has come, comes back in Baldur's Gate too. She's a bit of a fan favourite, is Viconia. Um, right. Yeah, next time. Nashkel Mines. Should be good fun. I'm just going to... Uh, kick you back to the glorious starting soon screen for a minute here while I try and organize some sort of raid. Ah, perfect. Successfully lost. He's playing some more Thief Gold, which happens to be one of my favorite games of all time, so that's jolly good. Is she just starting? It looks like she might be just starting. I'm not sure. No, she's actually playing the game. All right, cool. So let's do that. Go say hi to Lost. 
And um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. More in the afternoon than the evening. Um, around two, three o'clock in the afternoon is, is what I'm planning for tomorrow. We'll be obviously doing more Morrowind again. Morrowind every Sunday, so. It'll be Morrowind on Sunday. Um, Hellhawks over the bulge on Wednesday, and then the rest of the week will be probably Baldur's Gate 2, I imagine. It's probably still alive. Believe it or not, he is. And he has a health bar on the screen now. I got a mod for that, so... The motherfucker has 500 hit points. Didn't realise this until we got the health bar mod. Um, it's a miracle he's ever getting killed at all with that many hit points. It's insane. Anyway, uh, more of that tomorrow, ladies and gents. Have a good one. If you've been watching on YouTube, and I did upload this later, by the way, thanks for tuning in, and I will be reading your comments as usual. So thanks to you guys on YouTube as well. All right, cheers, my dears. See you next time.